So my name is Dorian. I am a current research fellow at UAB with the orthopedic trauma department. And I'm going to be presenting on surgical and microbiological characteristics associated with reoperation to promote bone healing after fracture related infection diagnosis. So let's dive into this. Um, so fracture related infections um, are basically when one has a fracture and after we fix the fracture surgically with some implants, it gets infected. So that's what is classified as a fracture related infection. And it is a major complication as a result of uh, surgical fixation of fractures. And it occurs in one to 27% of the cases. Um, they're usually caused by staphylococcus areas, um, group A strep, gram negative bacillus, and coagulase negative staph. Um, these are important because they have been associated with uh, negative outcomes, um, local and systemic complications, poor quality of life, increasing hospital um, costs. And um, one of the important ones for orthopedics is non-union, which is just a failure of the fracture to completely heal. And non-union in patients with fracture-related infections um, has an incidence of 18 to 37% and it's continuing to increase. So thus, um, with this project, we wanted to just kind of compare the surgical and microbiological characteristics to identify risk factors um, in patients that were diagnosed with an FRI and still had a non-union or their fracture didn't heal after um, diagnosis. So for this, we just did a retrospective review from 2013 to 2021 at our, our single level one trauma center. We looked at patients over 18 year olds that had an operatively treated fracture um, and were diagnosed with an FRI. There is a definition for the criteria of uh, fractural related infection, um, which has confirmatory and suggestive criteria. So we went on by um, those criteria and just some of them are like the confirmatory are presence of you know, pathogens on surgical site sampling, um, wound dehiscence, purulence, fistulas, and then some of the suggestive signs would be like elevated white blood cell count, um, redness, swelling, um, kind of like more of the clinical signs of um, infection in the area where the fracture was fixed. Um, we excluded patients that had osteomyelitis not related with a surgical fixation of a fracture and anyone that had less than six months of follow-up after the diagnosis of the FRI. And we just looked at injury, surgical, and um, microbiological characteristics, as well as intraoperative and postoperative management. Um, so after our review, we found 247 patients that were included in this study, of which 55 or 22.2% um, required more operations to promote bone healing, meaning that their um, fracture didn't go to union after initial treatment for the fracture related infection. Here in this slide, I just have basically our demographics and patient characteristics just to show that there was no difference between our groups. Um, then um, when looking at our injury and surgical characteristics, we looked at location of injury, whether if the fracture was open, if it was polytrauma, all of these um, characteristics and the only um, significant finding that we found was that um, patients that went on to have a persistent non-union um, had more use of topical antibiotics compared to the other patients that did go on to heal after the fracture related infection. Um, this is kind of like where our research gets a little bit interesting um, is that we found that um, patients that were infected with pseudomonas um, had a lower risk of going on to a non-union, meaning that their fracture, um, they had a lower risk for that fracture not healing compared to the patients that did go on to heal. Um, and the whole reason why, why we wanted to do this study was because we kind of thought that patients infected with MRSA would have a higher risk of that fracture not healing. Um, and our research did not support that. So um, we compared the patients that were infected with MRSA versus those with MSSA. We found no difference. We also compared our patients that were infected with MRSA versus any other pathogen, also showed no difference. And then we compared um, 
polymicrobial fractural related infections versus those with a single pathogen. And we also saw no difference. So it was really only the infection with Pseudomonas that um, was significant in our study. Um, so just a quick discussion and conclusion, we found that Pseudomonas lowers the reoperation risk in, inf in fracture related infections. Um, we found that there's similar reoperation rates um, in patients infected with MRSA versus MSSA. Um, so not necessarily an infection with MRSA is worse for these patients. And we found that uh, the use of topical antibiotics um, was uh, associated with patients going on to require more surgery for that fracture non-union. And that just kind of, um, the use of topical antibiotics is not standardized in orthopedics. There's not any clear indications. So that just kind of let us know that our providers are kind of aware of which injuries look worse and would need a little bit more time to heal and kind of motivating them to use more antibiotics. Um, but we definitely need more studies to investigate the relationship with the antibiotics on the fractural rate of infections and their outcomes.